Hello, everyone. Um, many of you who are tuning in, my name is Malika. Um, this is episode two of Let's Heal 101. So um, before we get into it, I just want to um, say a prayer real fast. Um, Heavenly Father, we come before you, God, humble as we know, Lord Jesus, God. First, God, just thank you, God, for another day, God, for life, health, and strength, God. I ask that, Father God, that you give me the right words, God, to let your people understand that, Father God, that you are in the midst of this recording, Lord Jesus, God. We always keep you first, God. Thank you for allowing us, God, to be humble. And God, I pray that, Father God, that when I open my mouth, God, that you speak for me, God, decrease Malika, God, and increase you, Lord Jesus, God. So, Heavenly Father, this recording will be great, God. Um, I ask that your presence come in this uh, recording. And it's in Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, guys. So, again, my name is Malika. This is episode two of Let's Heal 101. All right. Um, so, today we're going to be talking about faith, right? Um, everybody talks about faith. Everybody knows about faith. Um, but I'm here to share just a little piece of what happened with my faith, right? Um, when I lost my mom, uh, my faith died also. Um, me and my siblings uh, got on the prayer line and prayed for her um, every night at a, um, at a certain time. And when we got the phone call in the middle of the night, um, it was really hard to go and see my mom. Whew. Um, see her laying there um, lifeless, right? Um, my mom and my grandmother have always installed and rooted in us um, God. Um, It was really hard to see my mom like that. Um, to be honest, I thought my mom was gonna live forever, um, which I know we all have a date and a time, but um, my mom was young, so we didn't expect to see it so soon. So when I saw my mom there, lying there lifeless um it definitely shot my faith down it really did um to the point where i didn't want to pray i didn't want to fast i didn't want to read my bible um it was just a, a hard time for me and my family um like i said um, my mom was everything to our family. So my faith died. And my faith didn't get boosted back up until um, God sent my therapist in my life. Um, I truly believe that God sends you people in human form, right? Um, so you can trust him. I know that sound kind of like, well, God can do it by himself. God can go like that and everything is, you know. Um, but I truly feel that God sent people in human form because um, for the human eyes and the human brain, um, we don't trust what we can't see, right? Um, so if God sent a human to your life or him speaking through a human, you would trust that person, right? So let's say prime example, right? God sends someone in your life. Um, they're telling you about him, his glory, how he performed these miracles and his son died for us and how he used these people in the Bible and all types of stuff about God, right? Um, since you trust that person, you're going to trust what they're saying. Mm -hmm. So God sends a human that he trusts that will lead, lead souls to him. If they trust you in what you're saying, they will discover that God is real. 
they will have a hunger for God. They want to know who is this God you're talking about, why you talk about him so much. And they start digging, they start researching, they start reading a Bible, they start learning about the different stories in the Bible, they start learning about what God like, what God don't like. A whole bunch of stuff about God, right? They form their own personal relationship with God. And I truly believe that once they find God, really study God and start to believe in God, they will now understand their purpose. Why they're on earth, why different type of people come in their lives. Um, they will understand them they will start understanding who they are, who they really are. And they will start to understand why God sent this person in their life, right? So it becomes a cycle that can be used to draw more souls. But if we're unstable in our mindset, in our hearts, and everything else that we got going around us, um, then we would need someone to come in and tell us about God. So we can't go out and tell somebody else about God because we're still unsure who God is, um, what he's like. Um, we don't study God. We don't question God and all so sorts of other things. So... All that to say that when God brought my therapist to me, um, it was certain things she challenged me to do as far as my faith coming back up, me knowing myself, me actually facing myself, like really, really facing myself. Like it was stuff about myself that I didn't know about. And it was stuff that I was running from for a long time because I didn't want to face it. I didn't want to be this person that I knew I was, have this other side of me that basically no one knew about. So with that being said, faith without works is dead. That's what the Bible say. So if you truly believe that God will do something for you, if you truly believe that God will heal you from your past, from your trauma, from anything in life, um, without you actually putting the words, it's dead. So with healing and with therapy, I actually had to put in the work to start the healing process. My therapist gave me homework. She didn't say, Malika, you have to do it. You did it that. She didn't say that. She gave me a choice. You can do it. You can actually heal like you want to heal, or you can just stay at this level. I chose to actually do the homework and actually heal because I didn't want to stay at this level no more. This level was too comfortable for me. This level, I knew Malika. I knew the ins and out. I knew the skirts. I knew everything about this Malika. This Malika has been waiting to come alive forever, right? Um, I never thought I would have this certain peace in my life. I never thought I would have this, this joy. I never thought that my faith would get boosted back up. Um, I never thought that me and God relationship would become stronger because I just fell off the rat the wagon when my mom passed right but it wasn't until he sent someone along the way and made me realize that even on my bad days God guys God is still good God is dope <laughs> he really is um so I encourage you today to get to know God um, if you're unsure of where to start, listen, prayer is a simple conversation with God, like me and you having a conversation. Um, hey, God, I'm lost. I don't even know where to start. Give me clarity. You can start there. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. That's a prayer. 
it's something simple from your heart is you being truthful from your heart if you really want to get to know him. Um, I can truly say that God is not a pimp. So you can't pimp God. You can't um, basically pimp him because he knows everything about us. How is it that he knows all the hair on your head? That's what the Bible say. Like he knows like how, how much hair I have on my head, like every, yeah. <laughs> so God is amazing, guys, I'm telling you. Um, so I encourage you to get to know him one-on-one. Um, I encourage you to continue to heal. I encourage you to continue to do the homework. Um, if you are seeking therapy or if you need therapy, I congratulate you because that's the first step of you saying that I need help and you saying that I want to better myself as a human being and as a person. So kudos to you because it's a big step. I've been there and it's not a great feeling. Maybe like my first two sessions with my therapist, I was a mess, like a mess. So all that to say is faith without works is dead. If you have faith that God um, can promote your business or can bless you financially, can heal your family, can heal you, put in the work, man, I'm telling you, um, and watch God work. So again, thank you so much for listening. This is episode two of Let's Heal 101. More is to come. So I pray that I touched your soul with this. And I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys to get to know God. I'm excited for your healing journey. Listen, healing is beautiful, beautiful. Embrace it. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate the small things of you healing. Celebrate it, guys. You are worth the celebration. All right. I pray that you have a great day. Thank you for listening again. And again, my name is Malika. Bye.